Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes and PowerPoint Basics in 30 Minutes. And today I'll be talking about PowerPoint, the presentation tool from Microsoft and Google Slides, which is the presentation tool from Google. Um, both of them have their pros and cons, and I'm gonna be comparing them on several different categories and then wrap up with like, you know, which one is uh, generally better to use. Um, there are some definite advantages that PowerPoint has, as, you, as we will soon see, but also Google Slides has some really strong advantages too. And the areas that I'll be covering include features, templates, uh, conversions, offline performance, collaboration, and lastly, mobile apps. So let's get started here um, on the features part of it. And if you've used Google Slides before, you'll know that there's a very kind of a simple toolbar that appears at the top covering the major areas that you might want to use for your presentation. For instance, inserting a text box, adding, a, adding an image, adding some sort of shape, uh, adding a line, different types of lines, and then things like themes, uh, transitions, which is its word for animations. And then at the top, they have some drop down menus, which might allow some for some additional things. And these are useful things, including doing some research, um, kind of script editor, that's an advanced feature that you know most people will never use, etc. And then if you go to PowerPoint, they do things a little bit differently. So PowerPoint on the both the Mac and the PC version, and this is the Mac version, but the PC version is almost looks the same. Um, it has the toolbar interface. And basically you can change, sorry, not the toolbar, the uh, ribbon interface. Basically you can switch between the tabs and that will show a different ribbon showing new features. And it's actually pretty easy, once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy to use. And uh, this, is, this is where you can see that actually PowerPoint is a lot stronger in the features department. And there's a couple dimensions to this. One is that there are certain features that PowerPoint has that um, Google Slides simply does not have. And to, to give you one example, uh, the transitions and the animations, as you can see in PowerPoint, there's lots of them. So like, let's say that I wanted to add some sort of animation. Look at all the different options I have here. There's flying things around, transparencies, spinning, um, checkerboard appearance. And then once you do have an animation, you can really fine tune it. Like the effect options, you know, you can change it starting from the bottom or from the left. Um, you can don't dim it after the animation. All kinds of timing options here, and including the ability to rewind it when you're done. So this is really sophisticated. When you go to Google Slides, however, it's not that way at all. And um, yes, you can add an animation. Uh, so I've selected an object. And it, these are basically <laughs> the only options that you have. Uh, transitions, transitions are also pretty basic as well, just you know, fading in and fading out. They don't have nearly as much. So in the sense that features can be fine tuned, first of all, features can be, uh, some of them exist in PowerPoint that do not exist in Google Slides. That is definitely the case. Um, PowerPoint has way more features that Google Slides definitely does not have. Google Slides does have a few features that PowerPoint um, doesn't have, such as the script editor. But I think for things that people act, for the things that most people will actually use, PowerPoint comes comes out way on top in terms of extra features and the ability to fine tune stuff. Um, for instance, you know, changing the appearance of a template in the slide master area, uh, you can do that pretty easily. Let me see if I can. Yeah. So here's the here's the options for um, kind of changing things around on the slide master. It's, it's pretty basic, uh, but if you go to the PowerPoint version, uh, that would be under View, Slide Master, you know, there's a lot more stuff that you can do um, in terms of changing the way that your slides will appear on the master document. So PowerPoint wins hands down on features and fine-tuned uh, elements of features. So let's go on to the next area and that is uh, templates. So actually the best place to see this is to go to the uh, backstage view in PC or Mac. That's kind of this tool here. And 
like pretend you're going to add a new presentation. So these are the default templates that are available to you if you want to create a new template. And one thing that's really impressive about these templates is they just look fabulous. I mean, let's take a look at Berlin here. And you can see what the designer of this template has done. He or she has just made this really gorgeous kind of transition from an orange ochre color to more like a deep a crimson color. Lots of interesting shadow effects like below this shape. The fonts generally look pretty good. Um, and then, you know, once you're inside a template, it'll, it will let you to uh, kind of change the design elements pretty easily. And then you can fine tune them. You know, you can go to the slide master and start to mess around with exactly how they look, change the colors slightly. By comparison, going to Google Slides, there's not much there. Here are the themes, which are basically their templates, and you can switch between, between them. But, you know, let's, actually, let's change it to the normal view. Like, here's, a, here's the presentation in Google Slides. They have shapes and stuff, but there's no, there's very, there's no gradient, like from a certain color, from, from one color to the next. Um, let's change it to another one. That's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so, you know, again, this person, this uh, design has some, some shading in there, some uh, shadows in there, uh, but it's, there's no color gradients or anything like that. And, and also one thing I've noticed is that the fonts sometimes they, they, they mess up when you switch between one template and another or one theme and another. So all of a sudden everything looks kind of weird because this should be bigger than that, but it's reversed. So uh, this is an area where PowerPoint again wins hands down. So I'm just gonna go back to the, actually let's go to, to this one. Um, next thing to talk about is conversions. Now conversions is the act of converting something from one type of format. So this is a PowerPoint presentation in, uh, in PowerPoint 2016. So if I save this file, it will be called a .pptx file. And the older format for PowerPoint is .ppt. If you wanted to change it, uh, you'd either go to Backstage View in Windows or to, in the Mac, just go to the top and select Export. And it gives you options for converting it to something else. The interesting thing is, is that for PowerPoint, the options are really quite limited. I mean, it's basically PDF. Um, you can convert it to several different types of video files as well as image files. And these are fine and useful things to have. The problem is, is uh, for instance, if you're, you can't bring in a, you know, a, a, a Google a Google Slides presentation that easily. You, you can't do it from PowerPoint. You actually have to do it the other way around. And this is where Google Slides is far superior to PowerPoint. And just, let's just go to the basic look here. Okay, so uh, let's see if, to how to change something, to uh, convert something to another file format. You go to File, Download As, and then, holy cow, there's some other things that you can do here with in terms of exporting it. So for one, you can go from Google Slides to PowerPoint, but you can't do it the other way around. Uh, you can also export as a PDF, same as PowerPoint. And then they have all these things like um, open, open ODP document. This is an open file format, plain text, the uh, graphics options. And then if you want to, you can do things like import slides, um, which is pretty easy to do. And it can either be another uh, presentation or it can be some uh, some other sort of graphic element. So I think that Google Slides is superior on the conversion front, which is actually pretty important. And uh, just to give you one example of what I do a lot of the time, I bring in a PowerPoint slide into Google Slides for editing and for sharing uh, quite, quite frequently. And you can tell this is a PowerPoint because at the upper left corner, it'll show the P. So this is something where Google Slides makes it possible to work with Microsoft formats quite easily, uh, but Microsoft does not return the favor. So winner here is Google Slides. Next one is offline performance. And it's possible to use Google Slides offline. So for instance, if I wanted to work on my Emerson presentation, I could do this. 
However, you have to do, it, it, there's some limitations in how it works. You have to use a, uh, an add-on. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like, um, you know, offline, offline work mode or something like that. And only works in Google Chrome. So if you're using Google Slides in another browser like uh, Microsoft Edge or uh, Firefox or Safari, you, you, you can't use it that easily. And then the other thing to keep in mind is that I found with working offline with Google Docs or Google Slides or Google Sheets or other Google formats, there's always seems to be little hiccups in how it works. It's just not a smooth experience. And this is an area where PowerPoint, which for the, from the very beginning has been designed for offline use. And it's really quite superior to uh, to Google Slides in that respect. So for instance, if I'm on an airplane and I know that I'm going to be working on a presentation, you can bet your bottom dollar that I am going to be doing it in PowerPoint, not in Google Slides, because I just know that it's going to work and it'll be a lot easier to work with. So that's a big consideration. Conversely, um, in terms of online performance, uh, yes, you can activate online features of PowerPoint, uh, for instance, by saving it to OneDrive, uh, you can activate some collaboration, and that's the next area we're going to talk about. But I found that the collaboration and online features of PowerPoint are not nearly as good as Google Slides. So basically, in PowerPoint, to get started with collaboration, you'd go to Share, and then um, you'd have to save it to OneDrive, and then you'd or you could uh, save a copy. So there's some steps here to basically to add someone to the account. Um, what I have found though with collaboration using OneDrive, it just doesn't work all the time. And this is a really frustrating thing for people who need to collaborate. Um, you know, they try to use OneDrive, you install the OneDrive app on your computer, um, or if it's already built in, if it's a Windows machine, and you just try to get people to be able to access it at the same time to, to be collaborating. It just, is, it just does not work that well. Google Slides, by comparison, it's kind of meant to be uh, shared like from the get go they've re they really figured out a long time ago how to get how to make it easy to share. You go to the share button up here, click that, and then you can start to enter email addresses. You can change their permissions like they can edit and do everything or they can just view or they can just leave leave a comment so um and i 've done it before. And actually, you know, I'm getting ready to give a presentation in about a week and a half. And we're doing it with Google Slides because my partner is in Texas. I'm in uh, the Northeast. And it just really, really works a lot better than, try than trying to do it through PowerPoint. So collaboration and online modes, Google Sheets wins. Uh, sorry, not Google Sheets. Google Slides wins hands down. Now, the final area that I want to talk about is mobile apps. And unfortunately, I can't easily show you how they work. But... Um, Google Slides and PowerPoint both have mobile apps. And five years ago, when I first started writing about uh, Google Slides, you know, the PowerPoint and, and PowerPoint actually, um, both apps were not really that good. But now I can say that it's both apps have come a long way. They look really good. Um, you can do lots of stuff on the mobile app that you can actually do with the desktop version, including editing stuff. And importantly, you can show the presentation. So like if I wanted to have this uh, presentation get going, like in the browser, I just hit play from start in PowerPoint or in Google's, Google Slides, I'd hit present. You can do the same thing with the mobile app if you have the presentation on your phone or accessible on the phone. And it looks really good. It's like if you wanted to give an elevator pitch to somebody standing in an elevator, you can do that on your phone or with a tablet um, using either the PowerPoint app or the uh, Google Sheets app. So I'm going to give both of these apps a tie. And just to give you a quick rundown of where we stand again. So we have uh, PowerPoint versus Google Sheets. On features, PowerPoint is the winner um, for a couple different reasons, including extra features and fine-tuning stuff. For templates, PowerPoint is also the winner. Just better-looking templates that let you get started quickly and then you can fine tune them again if you want to compared to Google Sheets. For conversions, Google Sheets is the winner. For either importing stuff or uh, exporting stuff, you can really work with, in Google Sheets you can actually work with PowerPoint um, as well as a bunch of other formats whereas PowerPoint is pretty much like PDF 
and PowerPoint and uh, video formats, and, and basically that's about it. Offline performance. PowerPoint is the definite winner. Uh, winner. If I was on an airplane and had a choice of using one of the two programs to work on a presentation, it would definitely be PowerPoint because I just know the thing is going to work, and I don't have to mess around with Google Slides and it's um, you know these this extra add-on you have to add to Chrome to get to get it to work offline. Uh, collaboration, Google Slides. Uh, you just a lot easier to get started with collaborating. Simultaneous collaboration. It just it just works really well. And unfortunately with PowerPoint, it gets held back by OneDrive and some of the requirements to use OneDrive and just getting the other person to, you know, be able to, to get started with it. So for collaboration, I would, I would prefer to use uh, Google Slides, not uh, PowerPoint. And then finally on mobile apps, it's about, it's a tie. They're both feature rich apps. Um, they're both quite easy to use. They're both free to use, including a PowerPoint. Although if you want to access certain features, you'll need a, uh, a Microsoft subscription to use that. So overall, the winner of this will be PowerPoint. Um, I've been using it for, I've been using PowerPoint actually probably for about 15 years now, uh, Google Slides for about 10 years, but um, PowerPoint still is the superior tool in, in the, at least currently. And Google Slides, if they wanna catch up, they really have to work on the features and also the templates if they wanna be taken seriously. Um, and, and when I say that, you know, if you're giving a business presentation, it has to look good. If your templates, if your basic templates, you know, are simple stuff like this, it's just not going to cut it in a lot of business presentations um, or to a professional audience. So uh, I think if Google worked on that and um, improved some of its features like transitions and animations, it might be a different story. But right now, PowerPoint is the winner. For more information on how to use Google Slides and how to use PowerPoint, my company offers books about them. Go to in30minutes.com to learn more. And thank you very much for watching.